So about three or four days ago, I was on Big Bad Toy Store, surfing through their site, love Big Bad Toy Store, and I saw a couple items of interest. It was a, a lunar surface and Mars surface diorama. Found it really interesting. Uh, I love NASA. I'm, I'm a big space geek. I, I love the planets and the solar system and, and whatnot. So I, I clicked on it and wanted to know who made it. And I saw the name Master Replicas. I go, Master Replicas? Maybe it's something different. It can't be the Master Replicas that I grew up with. And uh, uh, I dug a little bit deeper and Googled it. And I saw it. Master Replicas Group. I was, I was like, oh shit. Master Replicas is back. <laughs> I, it, it, it caught me off guard. I, I had no clue. Uh, apparently, they've been around. They're back uh, since August 2017. I visited their website and, uh, you know, visited their frequently asked questions. And uh, on, their, on their page, they say, yes, we are back. Uh, we are, you know, it's, it's us. We're back. We got bored. There's a statement from the founders and uh, they... It is the Master Replicas that uh, we grew up with. At least I did. I grew up with Master Replicas. I know. I mean, hear me out. It, it sounds like this company exists in the 80s, but this company uh, was so unique and special uh, to me because I, I was such a big fan of them. And even though they sold a lot of uh, uh, um, high-priced items, I, I always somehow managed to scrunch my little pennies uh, to, to buy their merchandise. For those of you who aren't aware, uh, Master Replicas, they were this American-based company that made a lot of cool high-end pop culture stuff. I remember uh, I, I owned the Luke Skywalker lightsaber from Master Replicas and the Darth Vader uh, lightsaber. And uh, I, I did. I, I, I really, really did. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have a lot of... Um, I don't have a lot of merchandise. Uh, I don't have anything, honestly, in my collection that uh, is 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 master replicas. I've 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 sold. I, I've sold a lot of my master replicas collection. But I, I really did. I recall I I owned their lightsabers. This is the they were one of the first ones to really kind of pioneer that LED technology where the lightsabers just glowed really really cool. And I remember uh, uh, right here. See, look, I wasn't kidding. I, I really, that is what I'm holding is a Master Replicas lightsaber. And I remember taking it to the, uh, um, remember taking it to the uh, premiere of Revenge of the Sith and showing it to uh, uh, fans of the film. And uh, they had never seen it before. They're like, oh, this is really neat. This is really cool. Uh, uh, th those lightsabers, I had so much fun with them. I, I got, uh, I, I, Ended up going into Marvel and 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 so forth, and, and kind of veered away from Star Wars. But those lightsabers were always cool. Master Replicas made them, and uh, hell, I, I this recalls of a story. I remember, um, I remember in two thousand seven when I went to Star Wars Celebration. Uh, I remember uh, the 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 cosplayers. They they l would walk around with the Master Replica lights lightsabers, and they would uh, get into these these battles. Uh, I, I have footage of it. I apologize for the quality, but uh, um, it was just really cool. Uh, what else? What else did I have? I had um, I had uh, uh, I had Kermit. I did. I had Kermit. Uh, Master Replicas made. A one-one scale photo puppet of Kermit. God, I love that thing. I think it was really cool. I ended up selling it. Um, something that they made that I loved that it, it broke my heart that I, I had to sell. It was their Master Replicas Nautilus. Uh, if any of you uh, have followed me on my channel, um, I, I love the Nautilus. And my very first high-end Nautilus model came from Master Replicas. And uh, I had it for years and years, and I was forced to sell it in uh, uh, 2014 because uh, I needed down payment uh, to to buy my home, to to buy my house. And uh, um, I sold it for a, a, a pretty penny, and uh, the money did help uh, for the for the house. And uh, uh, 
God, I miss that Nautilus. I, I, even though I have, uh, my collection of Nautilus is right here. Nothing comes close, uh, to the master replicas Nautilus. Uh, I want to say this model that I bought off of eBay, this one right here, I think that is the exact same mold that master replicas may have used. I, I want to say it was. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering here, I'm kind of reminiscent because I, I had so much wonderful memories uh, buying Master Replicas and I did not buy a lot because they were so expensive, but it didn't bother me because I, I knew that when I bought Master Replicas, uh, I, could, I could trust them. The, 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 the trust and quality was always there and, and the warm emotional feeling came back when I was on Big Bad Toy Store and uh, I saw them, I was like, oh my God, they're back, they're back. And they're starting out small. Uh, I think they folded back in 2008. In 2008 was like a shitty year for, for our country. It was just really bad. Americans just weren't spending the way that they were now. And uh, it's just, I just wanted to, you know, kind of make this video and kind of spread the word that Master Replicas is back because I, I have so much wonderful memories. I, I had that Kermit, that one, one, one scale photo puppet Kermit that I no longer have. I had the Nautilus from Master Replicas. I had the, the lightsabers. Um, they also made really, they also made a one, one studio scale of the Millennium Falcon Empire that I, that I drooled. I drooled because I wanted that Falcon. And I remember seeing it, uh, in my first Comic-Con, my first San Diego Comic-Con visit, uh, in 2006, I think I have, I have footage. Apologize about the quality, but I mean, that's it. That is Master Replicas in its glory. I mean, that's, they had that that awesome studio scale at at walker that um i wanted but i i couldn't afford it was just it was just so awesome it was just really really cool and um the fact that they're back and that they're making uh space memorabilia for the smithsonian i'm like oh this is really neat i go i i they're making the saturn there's i think on their website there's a blueprint for the saturn there's blueprints for the for the uh, for, for the Lem, uh, lunar lander um just a lot of really cool stuff and one of the things that is um that's on their website that that caught me off guard is that they're making this this really cool studio prop of hal i'm like oh my god hal and, and i know i how the the whole synthetic robot i mean the, the whole idea the whole idea of of making how with that type of level high detail and quality i was like oh my god this is cool um last christmas uh um i ended up picking up a a a, a christmas ornament of of how and i was just tickled pink with this thing this thing is i mean look at this I'm sorry. So the fact that they're making a high-end uh, HAL that is connected to uh, Alexa that will have um, uh, LCD screens that are showing computer uh, schematics from from the film, I was I was foaming at the mouth. I'm like, oh my god, this is cool. I, this is one of I'm not kidding. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. This is an original. 1969 vinyl print that I picked off of eBay because I can only listen to the soundtrack on vinyl just so that I can experience what it's what what it, what it was like to listen to the music from that era during that year. I, I this is the only way I can listen. So I have not pre-ordered Hal yet. I will. I gotta juggle some items because I you guys know I I, I kind of. Kind of tend to go overboard with my uh, with my hot toys Iron Man. So I'm going to intro I'm going to introduce uh, Master Replicas back into my collection. And you know Master Replicas it was kind of like a like an old ex girlfriend where you had fun back in the day and then she disappeared. And to introduce that company back into my life as a collector, it's 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 weird. It's 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 an odd experience. It it really is. And uh, again, the fact that they're back 
And on their website, they teased that they're going to uh, consider making Star Trek and, and Star Wars. Oh my God, I remember that awesome uh, studio scale uh, Enterprise. I think at the time it was priced at a thousand bucks, and I wanted it, and I, and, I, and I just couldn't, I couldn't swing the money, and it's just, I get goosebumps. I get goosebumps. The fact that Master Replicas is back, and um, I, I want the community, I want us to support them because they made phenomenal, great products back in the day, and I, I look forward to it. And again, I have not pre-ordered Hal. I'm gonna get Hal because. Uh, I, I have to. I mean, this is this is not going to cut it. And um, the fact that they have blueprints, uh, a schematic of this guy. Oh my God! Look at this. They have a blueprint of the Apollo. I mean, of the of the Saturn V. Of course, I gotta get that. Look at that. I gotta. I, I gotta. I gotta get that blueprint. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to contain my joy. I'm trying not to stutter over my words, but. Master Replicas is back.